we have our first generative AI tool, Generace, now available inside of Luminar Neo. In this video, I'm gonna show you what it's about, how it works, and whether it's right for you. Let's get into it. What's up, friends? My name is Pi. Welcome to SR Lounge. If you are already using Luminar Neo, then I kind of expect that you're already using this generative erase tool because it's quite fantastic. If you're not using Luminar, this gives you another great insight into this application and all the powerful things it can do to see whether it's right for you. Let's get right into this. I'm gonna explain all the features as we go. Let's go ahead and start. I have a few of my kind of wedding and portrait images loaded up. So I'm gonna start with this engagement image as I just kind of go over the basics. We're inside of the Luminar catalog. And by the way, Luminar can be used as a standalone app like you see here. It can also be used in conjunction with Lightroom and Photoshop as well. But from this view, we're gonna select the Generase tool. This is the first generative AI tool to come to Luminar and there's gonna be many more coming, right? But the first thing we have is generative erase. And just like you can imagine, it's a really simple way and easy way of getting rid of unwanted objects. So in this scene, I'm gonna go ahead and just select the people that I want removed from the image. And this is a fairly simple scene. We're gonna work into more complicated ones in just a moment. And you'll notice that as I'm making these selections, I'm selecting quite a bit larger of an area outside of them. This helps the, the AI tool kind of make a better selection. Once I'm ready though, I just press erase. This brings up this fancy little kind of graphic that I can use my mouse and, and scroll around. It just gives me something to look at. But what's happening behind the scenes basically is Luminar is uploading the image to their servers. They're processing it using their AI and then it's gonna send it back. For a really simple image like this one, it could be 10, 20, 30 seconds. If it's something more complicated, high resolution, it might take 30 to 60 seconds. But in a matter of no time, it will send the image back and the results should be quite good. As you see here, this looks absolutely fantastic. But you might be thinking like, well, Pi, that's a pretty simple image, right? I'm going to go ahead and save this one out and then we'll go back and choose another image. That was a very simple image. In that image, it probably would have been pretty easy just to go ahead and use a clone tool or a healing tool to knock out those people. Where generative AI becomes very powerful is in images like this one. So as I'm photographing this scene, I had a few people kind of standing up and watching and because of the lighting that I'm using in the settings, it looks a little bit creepy. They're not creepy, it's just the settings and the way that this looks, it looks like kind of peeping Tom's watching. So I don't want that in this image. So I'm gonna go ahead and start selecting what I don't want. I don't want this guy that's standing up and over this balcony right here. I don't want the people that are kind of visible that are sitting in chairs over here. And because they're in front of these complicated, you know, patterns, if I were to be cloning and trying to heal this out and fix it manually, this would take me a really long time for what is a really small and simple adjustment, right? But this is where AI tools really are quite nice because it's gonna analyze the entire scene and it's gonna go ahead and replace and keep textures and, and do all that work that would take me a substantial amount of time. And it's gonna do it in just seconds. So. A few things here. Obviously, you'll notice that because this is uploading to the internet uh, to Skylum servers for processing, you are going to need a persistent internet connection, right? So you do need to be connected to the internet. I did talk to Skylum, and for privacy purposes, they are not saving any of these images. They wanted to, well, I wanted to make sure that that is the case, and, and that is indeed the case. So if anyone is concerned about privacy, don't worry about that. Um, they're not being saved. They're actually removed right after processing is done. Look at how beautiful of a job this does. I mean, if I were to do this manually and try to keep the texture and the railing like that, that would take me a really long time. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and save this out. These are the typical case studies that we think about when it comes to like generative erase type features like this, right? It's removing unwanted objects from a scene. But there's another case study that I wanna show you, which I think is quite common and very, very powerful. So let's go back to our catalog, look at all photos, and uh, I wanna go back to the catalog view, there we go. And we're gonna select this image and select Generase. One of the things that I'm always doing is I often will have either an assistant or a light stand in my photographs. And what I have to do is I have to take a second shot, what we call a plate shot, and then remove that, that person in Photoshop by basically layering and putting the plate underneath. It's not a, you know, too difficult of a process, but what happens if you don't get a chance to do a plate? Or in this case, if you know your generative AI tools can actually do this for you, in many cases, you don't even need to shoot a plate image. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and again, select the, uh, well, our my entire lighting system. This is Mikey, he's holding the light. 
We're going to go ahead and remove him from the shot. No offense, Mikey. We just don't need you in the actual photograph. And again, I'm being very liberal with painting outside of this area, right? I'm selecting a lot of the area. What I've noticed is that it does a lot better when you select a larger area for it to sample and to work with. And once we're ready, we're gonna go ahead and click erase. And as this is working, it gives me another chance to talk a little more about these features. So one thing that I wanna mention is that you do need a subscription to Luminar Neo to use generative AI tools. And while that might be a little bit of a bummer for some of you, what's important to understand is that unlike Photoshop's option, this does not use a credit system. So in Photoshop, they've made us aware, Adobe has told us that basically we're gonna have a credit system where you're gonna use up credits. And if you want more AI credits, you have to basically buy more. At least that's what we assume is coming, right? This is unlimited. So as long as you are a subscriber, as long as you have this available to you, then it, it is unlimited. You can use this generative tool as much as you want. All right, so it's done now. Let's go ahead and mouse off and look at how beautiful a job that did. That is absolutely nuts. And yeah, it, it almost did a perfect job down here of just, I mean, I can't even see it did do a perfect job down there. If for whatever reason, I haven't seen anything yet on these images that I would need to make adjustments to, right? But if for whatever reason you want to make an adjustment, you can also go ahead and go back to the image here and you can click edit and then go down to the professional tools at the bottom. And this is where you can choose basically to clone and you can make any other adjustments you want. So if you notice any lines or anything that that this will totally be able to help you handle that kind of stuff, micro adjustments and whatnot. But this image looks absolutely flawless and it prevented me from having to use any form of plate or anything. I could just jump into here and remove my entire subject in a matter of seconds. So very powerful, a couple quick tips other than just selecting outside of the subject area. One thing that you just wanna make sure you do is select the subject along with whatever shadow they might be casting just to get better results from this. But looking at this, it's absolutely awesome. And this is the first iteration, the first release of this. So not only is this tool gonna to get better, but we're also gonna see more and more generative tools being added to Luminar, making it a very powerful piece of software to check out. So that's it. We're gonna link up the software in the description of the video. Also keep in mind, you guys can give it a shot. There's a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you give it a shot, you don't love it, then Skylab is gonna give you your money back, which we think is fantastic. It's a great way of just getting people in and trying it without any risk on your part. Hope y'all enjoyed. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.